Morning guys. I just left the gym and now I'm on my way to Meyer. Today's meal prep is gonna be super simple. I don't even know if you can call it meal prep. I'm only really cooking a couple of things because I had great success last week with just simple make-as-you-go type meals such as the hot dogs and the tuna fish. If you remember from my Instagram, I went to my conference until last Wednesday and it turned bad. So I just need something super simple uh, that I can stick to that makes me feel good. And it's a lot easier. Now I understand what they're saying. It's a lot easier to stick to your deeper state keto macros when you eat the packaged food because you can see exactly what's on the package and what your macros are. And really the changes in macros are so subtle that it just literally boils down to I will use one tablespoon less of heavy cream and five grams less of tuna fish and those are my new macros, leaving everything else the same. So it's neat, it's easy. I'm probably gonna do a lot of other stuff since I'm gonna finish with meal prep quite early and right now I'm on my way to Meyer, so we'll see how it goes. Gonna make a break and take a bake out like a sink and make a shake out like vanilla. It's the finest of the flavors. Gotta see the show cause then you know the vertigo is gonna go cause it's so dangerous. You're locked inside a waiver. I can't I help it if I think you're funny when you're mad. Try and hide it to smile though I feel bad. I'm the kind of guy who laughs at a funeral. Can't understand what I mean, what you soon will. I have a tendency to wear my mind up my sleeve. I have a history of taking up a shirt. It's bad. One week to you look at me. you just saw I turned my cold brew bulletproof coffee into a maraca jam session there this is just leftover coffee maybe half a cup then I used a cup of unsweetened vanilla almond milk four tablespoons of heavy whipping cream and I used two tablespoons of that sugar-free syrup in addition to the entire pack of bacon I just ate so this is going to be a pretty good uh, first half of the day I'm done with meal prep, believe it or not, because I'm not really prepping anything this week. Um, so for my first meal, I'm gonna have a protein fat shake. So I'm gonna use some IsoPure protein powder and some heavy whipping cream to kind of make like a like a slim fast almost, like a you know a shake. And then I'm going to have for dinner, I'm gonna have those hot dogs and the tuna and. Oh, for breakfast, I'm gonna try them, them fat bombs. You saw that, that I just made, what? So that was equal parts. It was a really simple recipe. Equal parts, 
cacao butter, coconut oil, and chocolate. Uh, so, baker's chocolate. So for me, that was 84 grams of each. I melted it on the stove and I just put in like six tablespoons of coconut just to taste. And I used some sugar-free vanilla syrup. So I can't really use uh, erythritol during deeper state keto. I'm not the hugest fan of just stevia by itself. So this sugar-free syrup is sweetened with stuff other than stevia, but it's still not erythritol, still zero carb. And that'll be good enough for me. And it was kind of one of those like, you know, lick the, the pan sort of situations. So I'm hoping that when they freeze, they're in the freezer right now. I'm hoping that when they freeze, they taste great. So my breakfast will be two of those fat bombs and then that slim fast shake I was telling you about. And then dinner will be hot dogs and tuna. And I'm gonna have some Zevia and some sugar-free Jello up in that mix as well. Oh my God, this is so good. And oh, I'm also gonna have a coffee during the day as well. My cold brew's been sitting here overnight and it's still gonna sit there till tomorrow. I like it as strong as possible. It sits in there for like three days sometimes. So I'm gonna have a bulletproof cold brew coffee during the day as well. So, I mean, that, that sounds like a lot. It's still a great amount. Even with my Deeper State Keto uh, macros dwindling down, it's still, it's still good. So I am going to head to the store, maybe do some shopping. I want to put up a shelf today to store all my spices and kitchen stuff because right now it looks a mess and I want to fix it. So I'm going to drink my coffee. I'm going to head out and we'll see what else the day has in store. Okay guys. So here she is. Look at this sad shelf with all my food and kitchen utensils on it. It is a tragedy and my crazy Richards deserves better. So I am going to try to replace this with something that has more shelves on it. Wish me luck. today. I'm going to try something I've never tried before. Olives. I've never, I've never actually eaten an olive before. I just like, don't think I like them. So like once a year, I try to do this thing where I force myself to eat food that I didn't think I liked, you know, just to retest it. Uh, most recently I did that with tomatoes and I still hate tomatoes. So uh, I'm, but I've never had olives before, so I'm gonna give them a try. They are a, a good keto snack that I've never been able to partake of because I've never, I didn't know if I liked them. So let's see. Mm. I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it. Oh my God. They're so salty, oh my God. I did not like that. <laughs> that is just, it's like a salt bomb. It's like a twinge of another flavor that I'm not too fond of. Well, at least we know now, olives are not for me. Oh my gosh. What the, that doesn't even taste like, oh my God. No, no, no. Okay guys, it is 5.30 and I am calling it for the day. I did meal prep, I went shopping, I nailed that shelf project. I figured out I didn't like olives, I ate an entire pack of bacon, like, today has been pretty eventful. So I'm gonna go ahead and plop on the couch, have dinner, I'm gonna have two hot dogs and some tuna, and a Zevia and some Jello. I mean, that's, I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? So here are those fat bombs. 
they turned into pretty good sized discs. So I'll be able to have two of these in addition to my um, chocolate shake. So the morning's gonna be chocolatey. That's exciting. Uh, so everything I'm eating this week, two fat bombs, chocolate shake, bulletproof coffee, two hot dogs, tuna, mayo, mustard, Zevia and sugar-free jello. I mean, I'm just playing with the ratio of all those things to, to get me in my macros. Oh, pepperoni. So yeah, um, I'm feeling satisfied. Today was a good day. I got a lot done. I'm going to enjoy the holiday weekend. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like it, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, Watch Autumn Keto. You can also follow me on Instagram at Watch Autumn Keto. I make weekly meal prep videos and monthly weigh-in videos. Got one coming up soon. Thanks and I'll talk to you next week.